Now we want to go back to our coverage of the Democratic National Convention and bring you Michael Williams' story on how social media has changed the way we view speeches at these conventions and also how we communicate. It looks like democracy will survive as long as our thumbs don't wear out. Everywhere you look, our wireless world is hardwired into our political DNA. Blogs, social media, live streaming, you name it. Nobar Elmi and Ezra Smith take it for granted. He's an Obama campaign intern from Arkansas. Texting uh, Facebook and Twitter are like the main ways that we get volunteers. Um, I, I think it's, it's kind of taken over. And I know in 08, it, the grassroots you know, use of the internet was, was their best tool. Elmi is the outreach director for the National Iranian American Council. But I love face-to-face -face communication, and I really loathe Twitter, but I also recognize the fact that it's kind of essential. Everything has to be in 140 characters or less, so you have to be very creative, and you have to find a way to get people's attention. So Twitter, Facebook, you know, all of that, it's important. Summer Mall is learning she won a Salt Lake City radio station contest to be a correspondent for a week, and here she is. You have to pull people into this, you know, and, and it, it's kind of a cool opportunity that, that I have. She and her dad are meeting politicians and celebrities and telling the story is as close as the nearest sin button. I got to talk with um, Bo Bridges and <laughs> there's even, you know, just, just all sorts of fun stuff. Big events with big implications and increasingly everyone is their own writer, director and editor with a say in the political conversation. Michael Williams with more on how technology is changing the face of politics. On to other